Hi there, how are you doing on another gorgeous sunny day out here? Um, hope you're staying safe, staying well, that um, that you're making the most of this very precious time. Um, I want to talk to you today about lessons learned. Um, it, it came up in a podcast interview I did, um, I did the other day um, and it really, it really just got me thinking about all the lessons that we're that we are currently learning right now. Um, and you know, I think it's true to say that when we all come out the other side of this crisis, we're going to have learned an awful lot about ourselves, our team, and how our business operates. We'll have learned what's really important to us, the little things that we really miss, like hugs and human contact, at least for me, and the big things that we really don't miss. You know, we'll have learned how we act in a crisis, how we treat our customers, who we put first, what we put first. And we'll know an awful lot more about our team, about their priorities, about how they act in a crisis. About their creativity and initiative in helping us. And we'll have had that little bit of distance, that perspective to recognise who really belongs with us and who perhaps doesn't. Business wise, you might still be working with your team. Great. Watch for what's different, different good and different bad. Now, I said in an earlier video that you'll be reaping what you have sown in terms of your people systems right now. So if you always had really good, clear performance measures in place that were focused on results and specific behaviours, then you'll be merrily working away with your team business as usual. If, on the other hand, you're a bit of a control freak, a micromanager focused on how many hours your team are working rather than how efficiently they perform quality work, then you're probably feeling completely lost right now and out of control, looking forward to getting back to the office where you can see your team. If you're operating on your own because your team are furloughed, you're probably doing tasks that you don't normally do to keep your business running. I know I certainly am. Notice the tasks that you're doing and ask yourself if each one is as simple and logical as it could be. And if it's not, change it or adapt it to make it simple and logical. And then screen record it while you're doing it to make it repeatable. Simple, logical, repeatable. We've heard you say that many times. But do that for every task while you're in lockdown, while you have time. And you'll have created a consistent way, one right way, your right way, to do really key tasks in your business. We're all learning so many lessons right now and we need to be capturing them in a journal maybe or a blog or a vlog, whatever works for you. Just make sure that you're conscious of the lessons that you're learning and capture them day to day and week to week. It's precious time we've got here. We want conscious clarity because clarity, as we know now, comes before consistency which then gives us choice. Clarity, consistency and choice. I love three words together, don't you? <laughs> anyway, just have a think about that. Have a think about the lessons that you've already learned and just stay conscious of them because they will help you going forward. It's one of the, one of the lessons I learned from um, my time as part of the crisis management team within McDonald's. Um, and in my next video, that's that's what I'm going to be talking about. The lessons I learned um, about managing crisis uh, in McDonald's. So look forward to seeing you then. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. There's a button or a bell somewhere. Um, and And I'll see you very soon. Until then, stay safe, take care and keep learning your lessons. Cheers then. Bye.